What's going on guys, it's Courtney here, and today I'm going to show you how to sample in Logic. This is the most effective way that I've found and that is the fastest in my workflow. So let's just get started on how I even begin to chop a sample. First things first, we want to click the flex and make sure that it is on rhythmic. That way you can click little transient markers for the things that you want to sample. Now I'm not going to show you me chopping this whole sample because I feel like that would take way too much time and I'm pretty sure you don't care because it's very boring. However, I will show you a sped up version of that. So what I'm gonna do right now is chop this sample up and then I'll come back to you with what I have at the end. I'll be back. One eternity later. I think I might have found something that I can work with. Fingers crossed. So now we want to right click on the sample and click slice at flex markers. And that's going to cut it exactly where we put the insert. Let me make sure I don't have any silence at the beginning, which I do. So I'm going to delete that. And now I'm going to turn off the flex and then I'm going to select the whole thing, right click again, and you might not have this at the top. So you're going to go to convert and convert to new sampler track. I'm just going to keep it named the sample and make sure that it is on regions and hit OK. Once we do that, now we can play it on our MIDI controller which is very helpful. I'm going to delete what it gave me already because I'm not going to keep that. I'm going to make my own patterns. Next, we want to open up the EXS24 sampler and we want to change a couple of things within this plugin. So we want to take the release all the way up and then we want to turn the attack up a little bit. That way when we hit a note on our keyboard, or if you, were, if you don't have a keyboard and you end up clicking it in, you don't want the attack to be really harsh. You want it to kind of gradually go into the sample. And it also eliminates any clicks or pops that may be in the chop. The last thing that we're gonna do within the sampler is instead of poly, we're going to change it to mono. This allows us to play um, one note right after the other without them kind of clashing and playing at the same time. I already have a drum track laid out. I'm going to mess around and see what I can come up with and then I will play you the final project. I'll be back again. Okay, so I came up with something. It's really simple. The sample was kind of difficult to work with, but we may do. I did take down the tune a little bit by two so as you can see, it's at negative two. And here is what I came up with. It's super, super simple. So simple. Nothing crazy, but it's beside the point. We work with what we have. So now I would typically just go and add some hi-hats and a bass and probably mess around with the sample a little bit more, but that is essentially how you can chop in Logic. There is another way that you can chop in Logic, which you use the scissor tool and basically it works the same way you would just essentially cut where you would want your chop to be i don't like doing this because it's not as accurate as using the flex tool but if you did want to do it that way it is definitely an option you can do it the exact same way so say you want to chop here 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 and then put it into the ex S24, you just do the same thing, right click and convert to new sampler track completely the same way. And then make sure that your settings are all of the same 
um, as they were in the previous method. But yeah, guys, I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any other questions or comments, just leave them down below. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll put those links right down there. I also have a couple links to my website, link to my kit, which has all of the equipment that I use as of January 10th, 2018. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Peace out.